Hello, I am an absolute beginner in MicroPython, so I met some difficulties to make run the first example on my Maxduino board. I assume that uh, the explanations given here will help you and that they are also true for other CPID Max boards. Today we will work on a light classification model example in 20 class only. So for that you absolutely need two tools. You need MaxP ID and also KFlash flashing tool. You can find MaxP here. I recommend not to use GitHub because it is for specialists only. So you beginners won't know what to do with all this information. But you'd rather go directly to CPID website in which you can find install version of the IDE. So let's download this, unpack it and install. Now search for Carflash and again go directly to releases. For Windows select this one, download it unpack it and install it. Okay, now you have the two most important tools, the ID and also the flashing tool. You can now connect your board. In my case, the first COM port that is detected is a good one for transfer. We can erase everything on the board. Ship erase, that is full. Select your board. Makes we know and erase. Okay, now the card is blank. Let's find the example. Download the zip file and pack it. What is important now? You've got here the kfpkg file, which is a zip file. You can open it and see that it contains the car model file and also a JSON, which is a configuration. This file is dedicated to define which file must be flashed at which address. In this case, there is only one file, but you can have several files written with different addresses. This is a file you will run from the IDE and this binary file, I do not know its use. So if you know, please tell me because I think it is confusing and I recommend not to use it. Okay, now we want a MicroPython firmware to install on the card. We can find it in GitHub. Don't go to this link 0.5 because it will be confusing for beginners if you do not know how to build uh, the binary file, but use this one, release master. Here you can see that there are several firmwares. It is confusing for beginners because we do not know exactly the functionalities of all these firmware. So I recommend to use for the beginning this one, which is the full version. So download it. Okay. Open the downloads. Perfect. The most difficult is done. We can start working. Open KFlash. We will first install the firmware. So open a file, downloads, which is the last we got. Binary file. Open, check the name of the board. We want to burn it in flash memory on COM6 in slow mode. After installing the in-circuit programming firmware, then the rest of the firmware is burnt. Right, now MicroPython is installed on the board. This means that the IDE can talk with the board. Just select your board, connect the COM port, COM6, something blinks, TXRX, Okay, the serial link is connected. This was just a check. We do not need it now. Disconnect the COM port. And now we will install the K model, which is contained in the KFPKG file. Come back to KFlash, open file, this one. Something important, when you open a KFPKG file, there was no address prompt here, 
because it is not necessary as the information is contained into the JSON file. You could do exactly the same thing with opening the K model and telling it to flash to a certain memory location. So if you flash now with this, you will get exactly the same result than using the kfpkg file. Okay, we want to put it in the flash memory again. Download. Programming. Perfect. Now we've got in our board one MicroPython firmware and one model for the classification. We can close the kflash tool and just drop the point .pi file into the IDE. Connect the COM port. COM6. Since we've got the firmware, the board is alive. OK, and now by clicking run, the firmware will run the script we've got on the computer. Run the script. It's OK. It's alive and we can start working. At this step, if we stop running the script here, yeah, stop running the script, we've got a frozen screen on the board. If we execute again the script, it's running, everything is alive. Now, stop executing. For the moment, I do not use the micro SD card uh, because I did not understand exactly how it is used and uh, how the firmware knows where it must start. So for beginners, just use this function, save open script to board, strip comments and convert spaces to tabs. Yes, it works like that. The script has been saved. Okay, so it means that even if you disconnect the board, you can unplug, unplug again. The program is booting directly from the Maxduino, which became autonomous. Okay. Now just check everything is OK with a few examples. The model detection is running and is effective. With bots now, it's OK. And also with cars. It works too with several objects. Interesting. Okay, I hope this can help you to make your first steps and you can save a little time. Thanks for watching.